like this Chanel bag is the dream. It is a bag that was really hard to find. The prices just kept going up. Since then, the price has tripled. What is up you guys? Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you another Chanel unicorn dream bag reveal. I seriously cannot believe that I have this bag in my collection. It is a bag that I had the opportunity to purchase. I met up with a seller. I had the bag in my hands, but I backed out of the sale because I felt like the seller was dishonest. And I thought like someone was going to jump me, but I was just that close. I was so close to purchasing my dream bag. And so since then I've been kicking myself. I'm like, why didn't I just purchase that bag? So just get it over and done with. So I have been on the hunt for this bag for at least two years now. It is a bag that was really hard to find and the prices just kept going up. So since then the price has tripled and uh, it's just so expensive now. So this Chanel bag is the most amount of money that I've ever spent on a handbag to date. Like this Chanel bag is the dream. Oh my gosh, I know. But before I jump right in, I just like to introduce myself for those who are new. Hello, my name is Kim and I'm a crazy bag lover. I live and breathe bags. I love jewelry, I love fashion. If that's your cup of tea, I would love it if you would join the family and subscribe. Make sure you click on the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. It is so expensive. Well, the current going rate on the reseller market at the moment is about 23,000 or 23,500 Australian dollars which is, I know, so, so expensive. So how I was able to score this bag was I have a good friend on Instagram who, a crazy bag lover as well. We love bags, we love jewelry. Like her taste is so exquisite. Like me and her have been chatting every now and then and she knew that I was after this bag and she already has one. Like as all bag lovers, like there are some people who love to purchase backups of certain bags, like Lindy's. You know, if she loves a bag, she'll buy two of the bag. And I know like quite a lot of people like that. So a dear Instagram friend found this on a resale Instagram. This reseller is quite new and then she reached out to me and she said hey Kim I've got this bag on hold. I already have this bag. I was about to purchase it for a backup. I've already put down a 20% deposit. I know how much you really want this bag and I wanted to help you out. I want to pass the sale on to you. Did you want to purchase it? Let me know your thoughts. Have a think about it. And I was like Oh my gosh, I was just in complete shock. So I didn't know what to do because I'm like, what do I do? Like I've never, I've never had someone be so generous to me before like that. And she was like, no, no, you don't owe me anything. You know, I just want to help you out. I'm so, so thankful and grateful for her help. So if you're watching this, hello, you know who you are. So without her generosity, without her thinking of me, like I wouldn't have been able to purchase bag. This was, I think about August last year. And at the time I was just going through some heavy stuff and I wanted to treat myself and I, I had a good think about it. So I, I messaged um, dear friend back and I said, oh my gosh, I'd absolutely love the opportunity to purchase this one. If I don't purchase a bag, I don't think I'll ever be able to purchase a bag, maybe in five years time. But right now I've got other priorities. I wasn't on top of my list of things to purchase because I was on like a, I was trying not to purchase too many like bags. But oopsie, let's just get straight into opening it first um, without rambling on too much. So it came with the Camellia, the ribbon. Uh, it comes with the magnetic box. You've got uh, the tissue paper. I'm just, I'm so excited. So it came in black dust bag. And then it came with the booklet, the original receipt. And it also came with the swing tag as well. Can you guys guess what bag it is? I know. All right, really to Ta-da! I know! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have this! Yeah, I just cannot believe that I have this in my collection right now. This is such a stunner. So this bag is the Chanel 19S Satin Pearl Bag. It's from the By the Sea collection. One of Karl Lagerfeld's last collections. I love pearls. It is such a stunning showstopper of a piece. And I'm so like grateful that I finally have this bag in my collection. So I'll give you a quick close up of the bag. How pretty. It is so, so stunning. So it's a fully embellished in pearls. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the light gold hardware. It's got some lambskin, um, satin, pearls. It is stunning. So it came with the felt protector. And I've got a bag organizer in here just to keep the structure. Um, the pearls on this is quite heavy. So this is the rectangle mini insert which will give the pearl bag a little bit more structure. Got the authenticity card there. So 27 series. It is made in Italy. It's 
still has the sticker on it. The seller said that uh, it is brand new, never used, but I'm not sure if it is actually brand new, never used, just because with the Chanel satin pearl bag that slipped through my fingers, like the pearls on that, it had a varnish type of smell. So the, the smell of the pearls was like a varnish smell. Uh, whereas this one doesn't have a smell at all. Maybe it came from like a humid country such as Malaysia or Singapore or Indonesia, like one of those really hot countries where like if you don't store your bag in a temperature controlled room, your bags can go off. Minimal wear on the pearls, probably one or two like hairline scratches on the pearls and just one or two on the bottom here. So it is in mint condition and it came with the receipt, came with the swing tag. Chanel 19S. I'll just share with you what it looks like on me crossbody. So it does hit a little bit, a little bit low on me, but uh, I can always get one of those chain shorteners and shorten the chain, but that's what it looks like on me. But yeah, so it is, it is quite long. Whereas a clutch, I can't believe that I have it. I can't believe it. it's so pretty. I do love pearls like yeah Chanel is known for their pearls like their pearl necklaces their pearl earrings that's why I really wanted this bag it's a gorgeous collector's piece everyone was really surprised when this one came out and it was a good price for an embellished bag I'm obsessed I love it so much so yeah I can't believe I have it so yeah ah! so the reason why I missed out on this bag in the first place was this bag was released in about April 2019 in Australia and in March of 2019 I had just purchased my Chanel vanity bag at Chadston. My SA messaged me she goes we just got this in and I ran to the boutique so I just purchased that one and then maybe like two or three weeks later this bag was released in store like because I switched off my Instagram and I'm like, oh, I missed out on this bag. This one at the time was um, quite expensive. The retail price of this in Australia was 6,990 Australian dollars. And at the time, rectangle minis were about 4,700 or like 4,800 or something about there. And a lot of people were like, well, the pearls are gonna fall off, the pearls are gonna get scratched. The bag is quite heavy and it costs quite a bit. But now these bags are on the aftermarket, like on the pre-loved resale market for about 23,000 Australian dollars but yeah I'm just really really blessed and glad that I have this one part of my collection I still can't believe that I have it love it for sight like love it for sight all right so if you guys remember me making a video on this bag because I missed out on this bag this one is the 15c Paris Dubai is it Paris Dubai I think it's the cruise collection this one was like a runway piece but the pearls on this is different to this this one is a lot more luminous and glowy the pearls on this is like a a soft glow matte type of a finish. I love using this. I get so many compliments on this every single time. Such a great bag. It's very versatile. I like to use a crossbody and it adds something extra to an outfit. I love this. It goes with so much. I would absolutely love to have the silver version of this like uh, Claire Chanel and who else has this one? Uh, Up Close and Stylish has this. I think when this first came out it was about something like 8,000 Australian dollars. This one came out in a few different colors. So you've got bronze with bronze pearls, gold with white pearls, silver with white pearls, and black with the white pearls. And they do look similar, but they're totally different. Like you fit a lot more in this. This one is a lot more heavily embellished. I'm in complete shock and all thanks to my dear friend on Instagram. Um, like, I don't know what to say. I'm so thankful, grateful that I've been able to connect with so many people around the world with a love and a passion for handbags and jewelry and whatnot. Like, hey, yeah, we have expensive taste, but no one likes to be judged by their taste. I, I'm a Libra and I naturally have expensive taste. I'm just forever grateful for all the wonderful people that I've met. And I've had so much fun documenting and sharing with everyone my bag journey, the highs, the lows, ups, the downs, the good, the bad. And I'm so happy that a lot of you enjoy my enthusiasm and passion for handbags as well like I just want to hug this one to sleep I still can't believe I have it it is so so stunning so that concludes my Chanel unicorn dream bag reveal for today I hope you guys enjoyed it I'd love to know your thoughts on this bag and I'd love to know your thoughts on what what are you, what is your dream Chanel unicorn bag and also like has anyone ever been generous to you in that way it's especially last year I was going through so much and I just needed to pick me up and like my dear friend on Instagram like came out of the blue and she just helped me and I'm 
I'm speechless, shocked. I don't know what to say, but I'm just forever grateful and thankful for you. So you know who you are. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just really speechless, honestly. I've got another few Chanel unicorns that I want to share with you. Stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Please stay tuned until next time. I will see you in my next video. Bye.